Now right, getting our project here, we're gonna start on. I'm gonna throw this together here quick. Uh, gonna make this three point bush hog fit on that skid steer. Uh, I've been, had this bush hog for a long time, bought off my brother. Uh, we beat it up pretty good. Uh, as you see, we broke the yoke off it years ago. We're hitting stuff. I've got the shear pin on the gearbox style. So you don't have to have the clutch on it, but uh, still set up a three point. Uh, we're gonna convert it over here to run it on the skid steer. I'm gonna cut all that part off, flip that gearbox around, and pull the uh, pull everything out under it so I can change the oil, sharpen the blade, spin it around, reinforce it. Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, I think they call it like an open cut on it, where you. You put a V across the front so you can go, so the blades actually stick out past the front of it. So you can, and you put a push bar on it so you can cut trees down. Uh, this would be my sacrifice thing. I made this years ago. It sucks. Uh, it's based off Bobcat's uh, land grading system. Little tines are supposed to go down like a harrow and uh, cut soil. And then it's got the leveling thing behind there. Uh, never worked right. Didn't care much for it, so I'll use that for my skid steer plate that I made. Uh, if you got, a, if you don't, guys don't know how to make the skid steer plates, you can always buy them. But otherwise, I usually just make my flat stock. That's how I built mine. Uh, pretty simple. Or you can do my angle if you're trying to lighten them up a lot and you're not picking up something super heavy. Uh, I got one on my uh, grapple bucket I made. That's just plate across the top, reinforced angle down the sides but it's beefed up well but that'll be the plan here i torch everything off spin it around and uh cut it open uh had one of my subscribers saying i need to make more substance in the videos make them longer so uh, hopefully this one i can stretch it out uh so he said you just need something to watch not little clips you want a storyline behind it but we'll see how it goes should go uh i don't know everything's been rusted for a while so should be fun have to get the old uh, blue wrench out help get some stuff off I'm sure